on the issue of voting rights is true, it's a constitutional requirement. We need you people in the diaspora to be part of the decision-making process to determine the leadership of Kega. More so because you have loved ones back at home, you have people that are important to you and they need to be governed well. And since you have more exposure, you should participate in deciding the leadership of the country. Of course, as it were, the matter is handled by the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, which is an independent commission. But the problem has not been that they are not willing. It has been the budgetary allocation. So that is something as a government we need to do. Ask them to map up, to map the whole world, and as a government allocate sufficient funds to enable them to register voters across the world and create polling stations within the country so that people can exercise their voting right and they can participate in the democratic process of deciding who leads Kenya and how Kenyans are governed. So that is something we'll be pursuing. Of course, you know, as we speak today, we don't have commissioners for the IBC. The process had begun in earnest, but you know there are few dynamics after the demonstrations and the wearing of sufurias on the head. And I'm sure in the due course, uh, commissioners will be in place. And then as a government, we can engage them about the diaspora vote so that we can be able to make some progress.